everyone, it's Emmy Lou. Hello. I'm going to show you today how to draw a dolphin. I've been asked by loads of people, um, could I draw a dolphin? And I said, yes, I can. So I'm going to show you now. It's um, it's Saturday. I drew a, a tiger earlier, so I'm thinking, let's draw a dolphin. Okay, let's go. So you need a pencil, a rubber, sharpener, paper and watercolour pencils. Um, it's really useful to have watercolour pencils. Um, doesn't have to be these type, but I absolutely like I love watercolour pencils. If someone gave me this for my birthday, I'd be so happy. So, as well as chocolate, can't go wrong with some chocolate. Okay, so pencil, let's go with the paper. Right, first you want to just plan out on your paper this shape. Oh man, already my my pencils run out so you want to do that type of shape if you're not quite sure how to do it you want to start somewhere in the paper on the top it's a bit like an upside down umbrella if you've got an umbrella that's got that shape the handle if not just try and do the shape something like that will be completely fine like trust me okay and then you want to do you want to just touch that bit there and you want to go Oh, man. why does this run out? So, la 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 la, that's run out as well, we're doing great. Hmm, hmm, okay. Right, then you want to do the nose, the cutest nose. I've actually, ah, oh, really should have shown you a picture. There's a picture and I'm trying to think where I've got it. Oh, I was with a dolphin and I think the dolphin came up to kiss me, it was so sweet. Okay, then you're going to touch that bit there, and you're going to go, la, 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 la. so just go out a little bit. This dolphin is, I said diving, <laughs> this dolphin is um, jumping out of the water. So he's going to have a little, whoop, like um, a smile on a face. So you're going to do that, and then you're going to go, Wee! all the way up to there. Don't know how you're doing, but I've got hay fever at the moment. And antihistamines are my friend. Okay, so touch the middle bit there and you're gonna go down. So you wanna create like a C, C shape. And then you wanna go da 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 all the way to there. This might look a bit strange, but do not worry. And then you wanna touch around about here. So just put a dot there, and you want to go la 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 la. You get smaller, 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 smaller. smaller. So it comes to almost. It looks like reminds me of a balloon that you're holding. It just reminds me of a balloon. I really like balloons. Okay, tail. Tail's so cool to do because you could pretend it's like a mermaid tail or something really cool. So you could just go. Two lines coming out. Oh, you can make like the tail really big. Like you could make it so it's really, really big. Then you could do like collage. As in you could put, you could put sweet wrappers to create the scales. You could just do anything with it. But we're going to do watercolour just for today. So you can go, da, da, da. you can even do that. But I quite like just, something like that is fine. Some people like just doing a rainbow, which kind of looks cool. And then you can do a line there. Just do a line there, because we're going to colour it a different way. Okay, once you've done that, interesting. Once you've done that, we're going to go, just do the end that goes a bit like this. Looks strange, but it's going to be the nose bit that we're going to colour in. Then we want a cute little eye. Now the eye is going to be about there. You're better off just doing a bobble, because it looks more like, um, and he said a penguin. Looks more like a... Dolphin, there we go. Okay, then just choo, choo. Then you're gonna do, uh, these, this is a fin, a really cool fin, because he's jumping out of the water. So you're just gonna join it up. Just looks like that. Don't worry if it looks strange, because it's on the actual body. And then you're gonna just touch that here and go, choo. doesn't have to be, choo, but. And then just create a little bobbly bit, like a little bobbly bit, like um, a, a tummy of a capital D. Actually, it's up, it's back to front, it's next to the video. Anyway, and then you're gonna go, 
So it looks a bit like a shark fin, but it's more friendly because sharks are really pointy. So this bit's more like, oh, he's kind of cute. And then you're going to touch that bit there and you're going to go la 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 la. La 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 la. And then you're going to go. I'm sure I'm not normally this excited. <laughs> it's Saturday and it's just fun to draw, really. Okay, and then we're going to go. So that's pretty much your dolphin. Like your dolphin looks so sweet, but what you want to do is you want to make sure it's coloured in a certain way that looks kind of 3D. So you're going to do this. This bit here, you're going to just do that because you don't want this bit showing really. You want to rub that bit out. Rub that a little bit out. Oh man, if I drop anything on my mum's floor, she's not going to be a happy woman. We'll just rub that out. Trying to be as neat as I can, but I don't know about you, every time I do art, I'm not neat. Okay, so we're gonna create the shadow. So what you have to do is really, like really lightly, get a watercolor pencil. I mean, I, well, I could try and do it actually. I'm gonna do a blue, a blue watercolor pencil. And we're gonna start to shape the, the giraffe, I nearly said. I'm gonna shape the dolphin, yes. Okay, so we're going to do this. You're going to just draw with the blue, draw this line just here. Doesn't matter if it's a bit different or wonky or whatever. You're going to draw a line there. We're doing this in blue. Blue for you. And then we're going to go, if you can't do it, just do like a bean, a runner bean. I love runner beans. Then you want to just touch there and do that all the way down. This is really going to help when you come to shade it, like colour it in. And then you're going to do a chunky bit there in blue. I'm loving this. Then you're going to do a line here. It might be too quick, but I think it'll be okay. Then this bit's blue. Okay, this is this is the fun bit. I love watercolour pencils, probably almost more than chalk. So we're going to take two blues. Yes, two blues. Oh man, I can't get it out. One grey. And a black that's a little bit messy, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna do. Where's my picture of it? <laughs> Let's just have a look. Okay, so you've got these colours. Make sure in front of you, you've got these colours. I'm just trying to find out my picture. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's go. So you wanna take the light blue, and the light blue, you're just gonna do. It depends what colour you want him or her. You might not want him to be blue. You might want him to be a green dolphin or a greeny blue dolphin. So I'm taking the blue, really lightest. This is my lightest colour out of all of them. So it goes that, that, that and that. So I'm doing my light blue first. Oh, I've got it all over me though. Okay, light blue. It's kind of weird. Light blue, light blue. Bit of light blue there. Okay, once you've done that, grey. I'm loving grey. Grey is awesome. So we're going to do a little bit of grey. These are the best colour pencils in the world, honestly, because they just feel lovely to use. So I'm doing a bit of grey there. You don't want to colour everything, because the whole point of watercolour pencils is that you don't have to colour everything. Um, it makes it look 3D. Uh, a bit of grey there. I think that's about it. A bit of grey there. Okay, now we're going to take dark blue. Dark blue, but guys, dark blue. And you're going to just do... Oh, press a bit harder with the dark blue. Oh, his little eye. Dark blue. Dark blue there is pretty cool. Bit of dark blue there. Oof. Hang on. Dark blue, dark blue for you. Let me sing in a minute. It's a worry for everyone. <laughs> worry if I start singing, isn't it? Okay, enough of the blue. We're going to do black. I love black. Worry that there's not much lead in it. Okay. The black is the darkest one. So we're going to just, you don't have to press that hard. We're going to colour all these shapes in. 
with the black because it's the darkest one. Whoa. Yes. Now, if you can't see most of him, because I've done it in black, so that's great, but if you can't see the outline, you might want to go over with a black. So I'm going to do it just so you can see. Make sure yours is neat, like seriously, mine's, mine's definitely not as neat as it could be. Um, but go over all your pencil lines in black. You could go over with dark blue or grey even, as long as it, that's a line in there, I did that, coloured in, in that shape in. Okay, that's all you need. Don't do the eye yet because you want to do the eye last really. Then, forgot to tell you. <laughs> You need a water pot with a brush. Brush. Okay, let's get started. I was gonna wait for you to go get one, but you can pause the video, I'm sure. So water, brush, you want a small brush. I mean, I've got a big one just because I've got a big piece of paper, but your paper's probably gonna be tiny. So let's go. You wanna really carefully just do this. So pick up the colour. Can you see it? It looks like paint. Oh, it looks so cool. Gosh, I'm really worried about the mess I'm going to make. So, <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I'm painting, I'm the messiest person in the world. So you don't even have to do... Sorry, I'm in the way. You don't have to do too much when you do it. You literally just... Got my picture. I need to find my picture. Can you see how the blue's sort of going into it? And you can leave some of him white. It looks really nice when you leave some of him white. So you're just picking up the areas, as in you're just touching the areas that you coloured in. And do you know what I'm doing? I'm drying the brush and just smudging it a bit because I don't want to colour the whole thing in. Hang on. Smudge away. So this bit, you want where you did the shapes, you can just colour it in like that. You know how I do the shape there. Colour it in, but then blend the line. Blend the line means dry the brush, dry the brush or rinse the brush, and then it's called blending. So you blend it in. It takes a bit of time to be honest, and I've just totally gone over that line. But it takes it takes time, but it looks, I mean, it looks amazing when you get to, get to do it. Hang on. La, la, la. It's quite nice to use watercolour paper. I love the way I said that now. It doesn't matter though, this isn't watercolour paper. Um, so if you're not using watercolour paper, it's okay. It's just it's easier for watercolour paper because you can put lots of water there. It's kind of obvious, you know. Let's colour all the way. Okay, so we go down, and then touch the side. Good thing about doing the edge is you'll get to see it more clearly then. Oh, he's got a cool tail, isn't he? I always say he, but it could be a she, couldn't it? But it like, kind of moved. <laughs> it's a table then. Okay, and then here, no, no, no. And then here, oh, look at that, it's so cool. Love it. And then here, so there's your dolphin. There's your awesome dolphin, but you want a black eye. Not literally, but you want a black eye for the dolphin. So make it wet, then put the black on. But you can't see my black because it's no lead left in it. But you want a black eye in there. Hang on. Let's try and do that. You shouldn't be doing it all wet. Oh, man. Black eye, that's, that's what I need. So once you've done that, we could do a really cool thing. You could literally let it dry and then do the rest in watercolour pencil. Which I kind of want to, let's have a look. Yeah, let's do the rest in watercolour pencil. So you could draw a horizon line. You could draw a horizon line and you could do, you could do circles like this. So all I did was a swirl, a bit like a snail, and it could go out and out, and then you could have splashes. Whoa. Splashes, so he's splashing, or she, whatever, <laughs> splashing out of the water like, whoa. You know what I mean? So splashing out, and then you could have like, oh, you could have mountains in the background, and then a sunshine. You could literally, my sunshine's a bit wonky, but you could literally decide whatever you want to do. You could do one, another one, the other way, 
in the background. You could literally go mad, it would be really cool, like in a really cool way. Now, you could do a sunset if you like for the background. I'm just going to quickly do this because I don't want to take too long for you, but I could just do lots of different greens for the, for the trees. This is like the hills or the trees or whatever you want it to be. Um, different greens always look really nice. Like you want to mix colours really when you do watercolour because then when you put the water, oh, it looks so good. And then you want to outline it. Make sure you've outlined it because it always looks nice but I don't want to sort of do the whole thing for you now because it takes a long time. But then the water, you could do totally different types of colour. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be... It could be like different, oh, I think it's going to fall on the floor. You could do different colours for the water, but just be super careful it doesn't turn into a brown. Because sometimes when you put too many colours, um, everything goes to brown. But I'm just going to do this just to show you. Make sure that bit you can colour, if you colour just all of it round the edge, it doesn't have to be green, it could be a blue. The harder you press, because think of this as like paint in a in a pencil and you're just pressing harder to create more paint. So round here you want to colour in the lines around here. I'm running out of colour now because I need to pencil my sharp sharpen my pencil. <laughs> I don't know about you but I'm dyslexic and when I say things I sometimes say them back to front. Everyone finds that funny. Okay, the sun. You could have like um an orange sun, it doesn't have to be, or you could have a yellowy orange sun. You know, it's a really nice time to just experiment, especially if you're at home now um, and you've got a bit of a couple of hours just to play around with some art because your parents are cooking or whatever. It's really nice to sort of think, okay, let's do something different on the on the piece of artwork. I'm gonna do like a pink sky because why not? That's the beauty of art, you can do what you like um, once you've sort of created the picture you like. So once you've done the dolphin that you love, you can then say, oh, I want to do that background. Now you won't be able to see it very well. My battery's low, so I've got to go in a minute. <laughs> ah, you won't be able to see it that well. So we're going to do green. Da, da, da. Oh my gosh. It might drip for me, but you want to do green. Make sure you've finished all of that, and then here, it will look 3D, so cool. Um, then you go round, so you just colour all the background. I didn't do all of it because there's no need, it's too much to do. But the water, when you mix like that, you don't want to mix too much because as I say, it can go brown. But it creates a really nice, almost like a Monet kind of water, it's lovely. And then the sun, hello sunshine. And then the sky. So everything will turn into paint. It's so cool, I love watercolours. So that's it, that is it. I'm just conscious of this battery because if it goes, I'm like, oh. Okay, so there's your picture. Remember, you can create any background you want and I love drawing dolphins, it's really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I can't remember who wanted me to draw it. I think it was Molly, I think it was Olivia. Um, There's quite a few people actually. <sighs> trying to think of the name, Iola. I think there was a lot of girls that asked me, please draw the dolphin. Um, but I'm probably going to forget her name, aren't I now? Beth. Gosh, <laughs> look at the state of me. Like, you'll probably end up getting messy as well. Beth and, um... Oh, no. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Okay, so, on my next one, I think I'm going to do... <gasps> this boy, he said he really wants an eagle in a nest with some eggs. That would be really, really cool to do. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, I might do it in chalk again, but although watercolour is really, really cool to use. Um, if you want to buy my book, it's Amazon Fine Art Projects. If you want to do a class in the summer and you live in St Albans, let your parents know. Um, but ultimately, if you can't come to anything, it's really awesome to come here and do the YouTube channel and just draw things with me, Emmy Lou. Emmy Lou for you. And um, just subscribe or like the channel or like the thing. And then maybe you could just say to me, what would you like me to draw? Okay, guys, have an amazing week, weekend, day. 
and I will speak to you soon. Mwah. Lots of love.